Welcome back friends. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you or create with you a stickman animation. And I'm going to be creating this entire animation from within Canva using different apps and different elements. So I'm going to start off by placing some text on my workspace because this animation is going to be kind of like a story. Okay. And in here, um, I'm going to use magic, right? So I'm going to click on this pencil right here. And in the custom prompt, I'm going to type in or ask uh, Canva AI to come up with a short story for me in 10 points because I want there to be 10 slides. So I'll put my prompt in there. prompt that I am using just in case you want to use the same prompt is create a short story about a boy who likes school in 10 points. And I'm going to click the purple arrow and see what it comes up with for me. All right, once it's done, I'm going to say replace text and it's going to replace that text with the 10 points that I'm going to use to create my story. Now it's a little bit large, so I'm just going to make that text a little bit smaller. Now I'm going to remove the numbering. So I only have my 10 points. Now before we move forward, I am going to create 10 more pages, one page for every line that I'm creating a voiceover for. So I'll just click the plus sign and then I'll copy that another 10 times. For a total of 11 pages. I'll come back to my first page and we're now going to go over to our apps section and we're going to search for a voice over app. Now keep in mind that many of these voice over apps, they have a certain amount of credits. After you've used up all of your credits, then you either need to purchase credits or you need to find another app, whether inside of Canva or outside of Canva that will do the voiceovers for free. But uh, we're going to click on this one. It has a uh, blue background with a white microphone. I'm going to click that. And the first thing that we're going to notice is that there are two sections. There is a create section and a history section. Now, I, when I go to the history section, it's going to list all of my previous uh, AI voiceovers. Uh, but we're going to create one together. And I'm going to grab um, part of the first word or first paragraph here. And I'm going to place it into my script right here. Uh, so this is where your text goes. And then underneath uh, you have the option for speakers. So there's a whole list of different speakers. I am going to choose Mia who is a female and a soft. And if you want to preview, you can always just say play sample. Ideas are the beginning points of all fortunes. So if you're happy with the sample, then you continue on in your process of creating the voiceovers. So I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, for the nar narration, I'm going to stick with a medium variation. And now I'll just click generate audio to generate that audio. I'm also going to click on my second slide because that's where I want the animation or the voiceover to uh, be placed. So now I'll click generate audio. And once it's done, it will place it right underneath. In a small town, there lived a boy named Leo. Okay, and there we go. So there was my first voiceover. Now, one thing you want to do is you want to match the voiceover with the timing of your slide. So if your voiceover is 2.7 seconds, then you also want your slide to be 2.7 seconds. So we can just grab our slide here and we can come up here and we can just change that to 2.7. And now it'll be the same width as our voiceover. Now I'm going to continue on the process of creating voiceovers for the rest of these nine slides. 
and I'll be right back. But now I'm ready to find my stick men and match them up with all of the voices. And this is what the voiceover um, sounds like. In a small town, there lived a boy named Leo who found joy in every corner of his school. So that's what it sounds like. And what I have to do now is kind of um, match up each voiceover on each slide with a stick man. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to elements and we're gonna search for stick man. And we'll take a look at see all. And these, these are all the different stick men that we have available to use. So let's go back to our first page. So the first sentence reads, in a small town, there lived a boy named Leo who found joy in every corner of his school. So let's search for happy. And we'll place that on our workspace here. I'll just place them in the middle like that. And we can also place other things like comment balloons. And we can say, hi, I'm Leo. So we can put some text in here. and place that text right in the balloon like that. Now I do have my paragraph here, which I'm gonna be um, getting rid of at some point, but I just need it there to refer to as I'm moving my way through the animations. So I'll just put that right there like that. And I'll grab this and I'll just go to the next page and I'll just paste that just for reference. The next line is, unlike many of his peers who dreaded the early morning bell, Leo would wake up with excitement and eager. So let's go back to elements and let's go back to our stick man. And let's see if we can find something in a bed, a stick man in a bed or something that represents the morning. Now, I'm not gonna go through every single slide selecting stick men and placing them on my pages. So I'm gonna do that uh, offline and then I'll be right back. All right, so now that I'm done, let's take a look and see what that looks like. In a small town, there lived a boy named Leo who found, found joy in every, every corner, corner of his school. school. Unlike many, many of his peers who dreaded the early morning bell, Leo, Leo would, would wake up with excitement, excitement eager to learn something new each day. day. His favorite subject was science, where he would often conduct experiments that sparked his curiosity and imagination. Leo loved his teachers, who were always encouraging and made learning feel like an adventure rather than a chore. During recess, he would gather his friends for impromptu. All right, and that's what that looks like. And so when, if you want to share this now, you would come to the share button and you would download it as an MP4 and then you can share it as a video. And that's pretty much it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, press that like button, subscribe, turn that notification bell on. And if there's anything else you wanna see, drop it in the comments. If you have any questions, drop that in the comments as well. All right, for now, I'll say bye-bye until next time.